I'll invite you now to join me as we go before the Lord in prayer. Living God, on this holy night we gather to stand with shepherds, amazed at your glory, to sing with angels, rejoicing in your work, to wait with Joseph, trusting in your promise, to sit with Mary, cradling your love. May the good news of this night inspire us to tell the world of our great joy, for to us is born a savior, the Messiah, the Lord. Glory and praise to you forever. Amen. I'll invite you now to join me in our call to worship printed in your bulletin. Rejoice, for God is with us. Emmanuel, in the darkness of our world, shines God's holy light. Now there is a reason to hope, to love, to laugh, to live. God is truly with us. We are not alone. Glory to God. Please stand and join us in singing hymn number 79. O come, O come,
Matthew 1, 18, verses 18 through 23. Now, the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Joseph, being a righteous man, unwilling to expose her public to a public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for all will he save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son. They shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Our second gospel lesson comes from John chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. It's found on page 1,236 in your pew Bible, if you would like to read along. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and all things came into being through him. And without him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overtake it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own. His own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory and the glory of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. 
invite the children to come down and share the Christmas story with me. Okay, y'all are going to need to turn so you can see the book because it's got some really nice pictures. Oh, you can't see. Okay, can you come down with you? Because I'm going to turn it this way. Be sure you can see if you can see this. Be where you be where you can see this. Okay. Okay. Can everybody see? Okay. A long time ago, there was a young woman, and she was just doing what she did every day, and all of a sudden an angel appeared to her. And she was scared, but the angel said, don't be afraid, I've come to bring you some good news. You are going to have a baby, and that baby is going to be the savior of the world, and you are to give him the name Jesus. That's what Jesus means, so everybody would know that's who he was. And then the angel left her and went and told Joseph that she was engaged to and told him the same thing told him that Mary was going to have a baby, and that baby would be the Savior, and they were to name him Jesus. Now, about the same time, they made a rule that everybody had to go back to wherever they came from and put their names on a list and register for a census. And so Mary and Joseph had to go, and by that time, it was almost time for the baby to be born, and the trip was long, and it was hard hard and they had to go to Bethlehem and they traveled a long way and when they got to Bethlehem there was a problem because lots of people had come from David's line and there were lots of people and all the inns were full and Mary was tired and Joseph was tired and there was no place to stay but one kind innkeeper said you know I have my stable and at least it's warm and so they went out and they stayed in the stable and since Joseph was such a fine carpenter and worked with his hands, he took one of the troughs where the animals ate and put it down there and fixed it all as nice as he could and put some soft straw in there. And the baby was born that night, and Mary wrapped him in nice, soft clothes and put him down in the manger, and that was where he stayed. Now, they didn't know it, but way out on the hillside, there were some shepherds just watching their sheep and paying attention to the sheep, being sure nobody ran off. And those shepherds were out there, and all of a sudden, an angel appeared to them. And you know what that angel said? Don't be afraid. That seems to be the first thing an angel says, don't be afraid. angel said, I'm bringing you good news, and everybody in the whole world is going to like it. This is good news for everybody because there is a Savior that has been born. And right about that time, a whole bunch of angels joined them. And they sang an anthem, kind of like the choir sings on Sunday morning. They all got together and they sang, Glory to God in the highest and peace among the people on earth. And it, way, away in the east, there were some really smart men. They studied the stars. And every time there was anything new, they paid attention. And all of a sudden... There was this beautiful star that they had never seen before, and they knew it was a sign of something special. They knew a king had been born. So they got on their camels, and they went to see where that king was, and they traveled a long way until they too came to the place where Jesus was. And all of the people, the shepherds and the wise men and Mary and Joseph, worshiped the new savior the baby jesus and they said something similar to what the angels did glory to god alleluia sometimes we sing songs with those words too would you say those words with me glory to god alleluia and two thousand years later and more we still worship the baby jesus
As we move into a time of communion, I'll offer a few reminders. Here at UBC, we practice an open table, meaning that the communion table doesn't belong to any one priest or pastor or any one church. It belongs to Jesus Christ. And because of Jesus, all are welcome to participate in this. I'll also let you know that this is kind of set up as a station this evening, and so you can come forward and partake either from the standing station here, or if you would like to with your family, kneel at the table to my right, you're welcome to partake of communion together around the table. Now, on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he gathered with his friends in the upper room, and he took bread, and he blessed it, and he broke it, saying, this is my body, broken for you. And then he took the cup, and pouring out the wine, he said, this is the blood of the new covenant poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. Drink this in remembrance of me. I'll invite our ushers now to help us dismiss row by row to partake in communion.
Our third gospel lesson comes from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 through 20. You can find it in your pew Bible on page 1,203. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth, lying in a manger. And suddenly, there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go. Now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about the, this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary... She treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. And now I'll invite you to stand and join in singing Silent Night as we prepare to pass the light of Christ to one another.
Hallelujah. Christ the Savior is born. As you hold your light high now, I'll remind us all that the light is renewed in us. May you carry it forward to all you encounter, that they may go away rejoicing, declaring they have seen Christ in you. Amen.